Did you know that one of our California wild neighbors is the mountain lion? Mountain lions have many different names. Puma, cougar, and panther are just a few. They live in North, Central, and South America. As a top predator, they are incredibly important to the ecosystem. Mountain lions help maintain a healthy balance in nature. They are carnivores, meat eaters, and feed mainly on deer. Mountain lions can have an impact on the deer population. When there are too many deer, too many of the plants get eaten and the environment falls out of balance. Mountain lions are private and usually avoid people. Have you ever seen one in the wild? You probably won't ever in your life, but we know they are there. They leave behind evidence, like tracks, scrapes, and scat. That's the scientific name for poop. In Sonoma County, the Living with Lions project is studying mountain lions and helping raise awareness about these big, beautiful cats. So how do we study mountain lions when we seldom get the chance to see them? In order to find out where the mountain lions are, we set up trail cameras that are triggered by movement. When an animal walks by, the camera turns on and takes a photo or video. This way, we don't have to be out in the woods all day waiting for a mountain lion to come near. The only way to really study mountain lions and to get to know what they do in detail is to put a GPS collar on them. And to do that, we need to catch them, but that's not so easy. To do this sort of work, we need permission from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. The technique that I'm using to try and catch lions here is a walkthrough cage. It's unbaited, so it's basically needs to be placed on a route that we would expect the cat to be using the cage sticks out, so we disguise it with brush and tree branches. Eventually we're lucky and we catch one. When the door closes, we get a text and rush to the location, usually late at night. We want to work as fast as possible since the lion does not like being caged. The mountain lion is darted with medicine, which makes it go to sleep. We have 45 minutes to do an exam and collect data, much like going to the doctor's office. Wouldn't it be easier to visit the doctor if you got to take a nap? A veterinarian, or animal doctor, is with us to make sure the lion stays healthy during the exam and is being well cared for. The first thing we do is put a collar on the lion. It looks bulky, but it doesn't hurt the cat. This is the collar that uses GPS to track where the lion is every few hours. When the lion is asleep, we measure it, check its teeth and paws, and take blood samples. All of this information can tell us how old the mountain lion is, how healthy it is, and who it's related to. After being collared, the mountain lion wakes up and runs away. Having a collar doesn't make it tame, it just means we can use our computers at home to watch where it goes every day and night. From there, we can learn where it's headed, what it eats, and the size of its territory. Mountain lions need a lot of space so they can get enough food for themselves and their kittens. A female lion with kittens needs to eat about 70 to 80 deer in one year. They can't eat all the deer in one area because then the deer would be gone and the kittens would starve. So Mama keeps moving through her big territory to take deer from different areas, which keeps the ecosystem healthy. Have you ever had leftovers after dinner? Mountain lions often have leftovers too. It takes a mountain lion two to three nights to eat a whole deer. Instead of putting their food in the fridge, they cache it which means they cover it with sticks and dirt. This helps preserve the meat and keep away any scavengers, like bobcats, turkey vultures, or possums. Mountain lions have really big homes. 
And we know this from using the GPS points from the collars we put on the lion. All the mountains you see here are the territory of a female named P1. We call her P1 because she is the first puma, P for puma, we caught and collared in our study area. This blue line is the route P1 took during these two weeks. She explored only part of her territory, but how far do you think she traveled? Well, she traveled over 30 miles in two weeks. That's the same as driving from Santa Rosa to Nevada. Now let's take a look at how far a male traveled in comparison. He traveled 60 miles. That's the same as driving from Santa Rosa all the way to San Francisco. This is P5's territory. He protects his kingdom and chases away or fights any other males that try to come into his home. For every male, there are three to four females living in his territory. And just like the males, each female will protect her own territory from others looking to steal it. There are really very few mountain lions around because they need such big territories. So what about us? Where do we fit in? Mountain lions can live in many types of wild lands. In fact, we have found that one mountain lion can share its home with 50,000 people. Imagine that. We share this living space with mountain lions, so we have to be responsible and learn to coexist with our wild neighbors. Part of coexisting is learning how to properly protect our own pets by keeping them inside a predator-proof enclosure at night. This will not only benefit the mountain lions, but all wild animals in our environment. As we now know, mountain lions like to hide from people and also like to be hidden when they hunt. They choose habitats that are heavily wooded and fully stocked with food. This is also where mamas like to have their babies. Look how camouflaged they are. Mountain lion kittens are born with blue eyes and have spots, which help them blend in with the shadows from the trees and brush. Mom often has to leave them to hunt and mark her territory, so this camouflage helps hide the kittens from predators while she is gone. There is a lot of danger for baby mountain lions. Mama has to look after her kittens on her own. Dad doesn't participate since his job is to protect the whole area from other males who may try to take over his reign. Mama cares for the kittens until they are one to two years old and teaches them everything they need to know. When the kittens are old enough, Mama will push them out of her territory so that they can find their own homes. In time, they will be big and strong and ready to find mates and have kittens of their own. Aren't we lucky to have these beautiful animals as our wild neighbors? Now that you know so much about mountain lions, what can you do to help?